modern periodic law and the present form of the periodic table. After the discovery of subatomic particles, okay, mostly did some work on high atomic weight elements. What he did was he took a high atomic weight element, okay, he took the metal, then he bombarded that with high speed electrons. Okay. So, when he bombarded that, so some x-rays were produced, you know x-rays will have some frequency and he found that the frequency, the root of frequency was directly proportional to the atomic number. Okay. So, when he plotted the frequency versus atomic mass and with atomic number, so with atomic mass, you know, he could not get a straight line, there were some deviations, only few elements were in the graph here, some were getting deviated as per increasing atomic mass, but with atomic number, he got a straight line. Okay. So, now he changed the Mendeleev's periodic table to the physical and chemical properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic number because we know that Mendeleev told with increasing atomic weight, but the modern periodic table is with increasing atomic numbers. The modern periodic table is based on the Bodbury concept of electronic configuration. Let us see some of the salient features. There are seven horizontal rows known as periods and eight vertical columns called groups. Okay. Elements with similar valence electron configuration are arranged in vertical columns like in, uh, that is groups. Suppose like you know if we see like you know sodium and potassium they will have the valence el el uh, electron will be the same that is S1 it will be it will end with S1. So, they all will be placed in the same group. Each period corresponds to the highest principal quantum number n of the elements in the period. Now, the first period will have only two elements and the subsequent periods that is second, third, fourth, they will have 8, 8, 18, 18, 32 and 32 elements each. 14 elements of both sixth and seventh period that is the lanthanides and actinides are placed separately below the periodic table. Let us see some characteristics of periods. The first period has two elements and that is called the shortest period. The second and third period will have three elements each and they are called the short periods. Whereas the fourth and fifth period will have 18 elements each and they are called the long periods. And the sixth and seventh period will have 32 elements each and they are called the longest period. Now, the lanthanides and actinides, we know they are placed separately below the periodic table. So, the lanthanides belong to the sixth period and group 3, whereas the actinides will belong to the seventh period and third group. Now, the third group elements are called typical elements. The valency of elements increases from 1 to 7 with respect to oxides. So, let us see the oxide that is Na2O. So, we know the valency is 1. With MgO, the valency is 2. For magnesium, aluminum oxide it is 3. Silicon oxide it is 4. P2O5 it is 5. SO3 sulfur trioxide it is 6. And with respect to Cl, 207, this is the valency of chlorine will be 7. So, you can see the increase in valency. The second period elements are called like bridge elements. Let us see the characteristics of group. There are totally 18 groups in the modern periodic table. The inert gases are placed in the 18th group. The first two groups are mostly the most reactive metals. The first group are called the alkali metals and the second group elements are called the alkaline earth metals. So, if you see the as per the electronic configuration, the last electron will enter the S subshell. So, they are also called the S block elements. The next 10 groups are have metals, but which are less reactive. They are called the transition metals. 
and we can see the last electron will enter the D subshell. So, therefore, they are also called the D block elements. The last six groups contain metals, non-metals and metalloids. So, if you see the electronic configuration here, the last electron will enter the P subshell. So, therefore, they are also called the P block elements. Coming to the last one, the lanthanides and actinides are, you know that they are placed below the modern periodic table and here the electrons enter the F subshell. So, they are called the F block elements and they are also called the inner transition elements. <coughs> 